and my viewer please meet who you are, who is an engineer, Mustafa Kake. Yeah, my name is, as, as you said, my name is engineer Kim Mustafa. Mm -hmm. I work with Gons Engineering. Um, I'm a co-founder of Gons Engineering actually. And I'm also the vice chairman of the US and the International and Lagos chapter. I'm privileged to school in Lagos. I was born in Lagos. I school in Lagos. I served in Lagos. And I work in Lagos. Um, I started this day when I was pretty younger. Yeah? Um, I started business before I graduate and uh, ever since I have been a graduate I've been actually uh, I started this particular business called Combs and um, it's been very tough, very challenging and interesting and um, we kind of uh, we give God the glory um, we have been able to take security into a place that is well Now, you just talked about security Right now, in our country, we know one of the challenges we are having here is security, insecurity, most especially in the northern part of the country. So, as a, a security expert, what are the things you, you have been able to, to pass out to the nation concerning that? Yeah, security is actually a continuous uh... Project. And uh, as you have said, um, Nigeria happens to be one of the most challenging security environments. And uh, one of the one of the things that make us to be a bit backward is uh, we are more reactive than proactive. Also, we rely more on physical security than equipment security. Here in Kongs Engineering, we specialize on uh, uh, part of the physical security, which is equipment security and electronic security. And electronic security is like a uh, first part for physical security. Um, we have been able to work with different organizations, ranging from government and private, as a first part to ensure that we can use equipment to enhance their productivity and their performance in the future. That they can secure our, their facility much better, secure our country much better. And uh, it's been very helpful and uh, it is interesting that at this time in Nigeria we have seen the importance, we have realized the importance of electronic security because they are much, much reliable, much, much accurate. They don't get tired just like human beings and uh, compromise also uh, very minimal. So um, if you look at uh, one of the challenges we're having here in Nigeria, which as uh, we can look at it, let's say, let's start from the the militants in the uh, Niger Delta area, also in the north, this can actually be reduced by using equipment to, uh, instead of surveillance and protection, uh, uh, to, to a protection of, of property and human beings. And uh, for example, um, if you look at what is happening in the Boko Haram region, uh, one of the things I know the government has been doing is. They've been using a lot of equipment to actually be able to track them, to uh, arrest them, to prevent them from carrying out their act. And uh, I feel that at this point, we Nigeria should invest seriously on city surveillance, people surveillance, people tracking, and at the same time, uh, people identification. We should be able to identify and track as well. We should be able to. Uh, be able to recognize who we are, we should be able to protect those environments that is pretty, that is a bit safer. And that can easily be achieved by have, ensuring that we have intelligent surveillance system. Uh, it is not just putting camera, it is by putting a camera, it's by producing a camera, work with a manufacturer to get a camera that will give us the type of solution we require. And uh, that is a camera with different type of box, which can be linked to so many intelligent analysis. And uh, we, we have that solution, we have done it outside this country and uh, we can do it over and over in this country. We have some uh, youth out there who want to start from it. What are the major things, what are those easy and difficult part of it when you started as a person that you need to pass out to, to them out there? Well, um, the first thing I'll tell everybody is this, you have to be determined. Then determination doesn't doesn't give you victory. You have to be continuously be determined and never give up. You don't look back when you want success. You then get tired of of uh, 
of uh, get, get tired of struggling, that's the end of your struggle. The day you tell me that's the end of the achievement. Um, it's been very tough when we started and um, we started a business without a capital, without a, without a mentor, without an environment that encourages you, without power. You know, because, uh, but with the local government trouble and the state is not encouraging, it's actually been very tough. But um, a winner must not look back. We're still, we're still fighting and uh, I will tell the youth there that Nigeria is actually a very, a very good environment to survive. And that means that uh, if you are determined and give everything you have without giving up, you will be now, sir, you know oh, quite all right because I'm sure you'll be following most of the children uh, discovering uh, uh, program we do on the street. And since you are into security, what do you have to say about those uh, children? You see them selling, bragging. It has to do with insecurity as well. What do you have to say about it as a father as well? Yeah, you know, um, um, it's been very pathetic and very painful. Um, we have economic challenge, we also have a uh, uh, mentorship challenge, we have, um, uh, we have different types of challenges in Nigeria. And um, the bottom, the first demand of every other person is economy. You want to be able to feed yourself. If uh, there's a challenge in the economy and the government is not creating enough environment or enough publication to let people know that they can be better than what they had today um, then it's a challenge and this is very challenging for example let's use uh, india as a case study india are the population which is more than nigeria and uh, when they realize that they have mass unemployment what do they do they invest into it and they make sure that uh, they, they make it an open-ended and uh, uh, in a way that any indian person can actually come study IT, get certification, and now they start recruiting them and exporting them globally. And uh, at the moment, India happens to be one of the uh, environment that international body is looking at in terms of investment, also in terms of employment, in terms of uh, uh, um, long distance employment, and it's been very incredible. I feel Nigeria, we have a lot of youth. We need to capitalize on that youth. We also need to invest a lot into our research uh, institute in a way that the youth can come up with different discoveries. We can encourage them in research and stuff like that. And when they discover or, or come up with an equipment or a design, we should encourage them. And that is by encouraging the investors to so invest into what we have. Then we now move it into production. If we don't encourage productivity production in this part of the world we would not get there we need to start building stuff locally we need to start adding local content we need to start adding indigenous discovery in nigeria that will solve nigerian problems we should look more inward we look too much outward there are incredible people in nigeria are very wonderful people for example the highest number of black people in the, in the United States, medical doctors are Nigerian. The highest number of private people in the United States are Nigerians. So Nigerians are good people. We put a lot of things in ensuring that we are better than what we have today. And uh, I feel we need to be encouraged. We need to have an, a, an environment that will encourage people to want to pay more prices. So I feel government has to look in one and see how we can invest into ourselves. We should appreciate ourselves. We should look at what you or what individuals are doing. We should appreciate, we should appreciate our limitation. We should encourage ourselves. And we individually also have to look at the country and prepare to contribute to the country. We should stop taking advantage of loopholes of the country. Loopholes always have a price in pay. If you think you're taking advantage of the country, you are taking advantage of yourself and the generation on board. So if we, if, the, if we are ready to sacrifice for the country, and the country are ready to sacrifice for us, we will get that.
abuse is one thing. Street and road hawking it another. What stops these parents from doing the hawking themselves? In line with the banning of road hawking by Lagos State Government, Mercy Osuya took it upon herself to fight against child hawking in a different local government in Lagos. First, we visited Ubiliagege local government with the Executive Secretary, Mr. Adeyinka Oladako. At the course of our patrol, we met this little girl named Zainab Selimangu during school hours. Look at this little girl that's supposed to be in school. The mother left her in this kind of hot sun to, to, to start selling mango for her. Please, parents, we should try and stop it. As much as the Lagos State Government is trying to help all those children, we, the parents, we should try and stop it. The mother went out, and the father, who is a vulcanizer, was inside the house sleeping. And when he was asked why the child was not in school, he got physical with the child. <laughs> He was arrested, though released the same day. Mr. Adeyinka Oladapo promised to put the child in school immediately. Wow, relaxation. 
sure you do. Relaxation is one of the things that you probably cannot run away from, especially when you are telling much more age. But relaxation is, is, is more than physical relaxation, it's more than exercise. Because the executive work more with their brain is actually a mental relaxation. Yes, I relax. I relax, I do exercises, I go out for movies, sometimes I even go out to fishes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's something but it, it, you enjoy it more when you're coming up for that family. And I must say, I do the other relaxation. Wow, do you have any sports? What kind of sport do you do? Of course, as I said, I, I said I do a lot of a couple of exercises, and um, one of my best sports is volleyball. What? I love volleyball. Wow, that's nice. Because it makes you jump, makes you sweat, all the nice stuff. So, the music part of it, what kind of music do you listen to? Well, well I love Nigerian music. I think um, Nigerian music happens to be, to me, it happens to be one of the best music in the world. Okay. But I think I, I also like an old school stuff because. Uh, I like music that you can that, that makes you think back and look at situations and look, look at the situation and see how you can actually make better. So uh, one of the best music I listen to is Fela. Fela. So which of his uh, <laughs> track? What, what uh, probably you know? all of all of his tracks. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can just <laughs> tell us one because probably why the program is gonna go on. You want to play little? <laughs> well. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, scary. No, no, you just have to. Well, you can talk of basketball, you can talk of ITT, you can talk of. Uh, <laughs> a lot of track of fella. But I must say. Uh, the one you feel, okay, I love the small ones that play yeah. that you can, uh, you know. Oh, you want to talk of Yellow Fever. Oh, you want to talk of. Can you sing Yellow Fever? Give me a little uh, lyrics of it. <laughs> right. Uh, well, uh. uh ITT, International TT, International <laughs> Road, International <laughs> TT. <laughs> well, so thank you very much, sir. We so much love the fact that um, you came on our show and it's been so, so interesting. Now, sir, before you leave, we want you to tell the viewers your name again and uh, your advice to them and tell them to keep watching the gallery. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity again. Uh, my name, as you just said, as a been of my name is Engineer Aki Mustafa. I am the current CEO of Gold Engineering Limited and uh, Vice Chairman of uh, Assets International Chapter 206 Lagos. Um, I will tell the viewer that I keep on watching gallery and uh, when we watch the gallery, please uh, try and ensure that you have a takeaway from it. It is a very intelligent program and uh, people that come on board Look at them as mentor, and uh, um, even if you have anything against them, pick the sense and pray with it on. Thank you so much. Anyway, I still remain your host, Mercy. Bye.